Now our fourth step was to link the recycler view and our custom adapter. So how to do it? So here we need to pass two parameters. We need to pass the context of main activity along with all the data set. Now our data set is present where inside the data class. So we need to call this method which will return all the array list containing the information object. So what we're going to do? We are going to call this method data dot get data. Fine. Now it will show an error. So hit alt enter and create a constructor inside the custom adapter. So it will automatically create the constructor inside our custom adapter. Clear. This is our constructor that is automatically created. So let us change it to context. It's a better approach. Fine. Now let us define what context space context and also let us define this command C command V and inside the constructor let us initialize this dot context equal to what context now next this dot data equal to what data fine so we are done with linking of an adapter with our recycler view now few more stuffs to be done here guys let us do one thing recycler view dot set layout manager new linear layout manager so at present we are going to give our appearance to the recycler view as of linear layout manager so one below the other our elements of recycler view will be placed and later on guys we will check out what is grid layout manager and staggered grid layout manager fine so let us do one thing guys let us go to our my custom adapter dot java and inside this java file we need to work out a lot more so what workout we are going to do let us do one thing to avoid confusion let us change this i to position and again also this i to what position fine now then let's Let's move to our view holder class and inside the view holder let us do one thing let us initialize our text view and also image view fine now inside the constructor let us complete our initialization text view equal to find view by id sorry item view dot find view by id r dot id dot typecasted so guys we are able to track this text view with the help of what this item view now this item view is actually the view of single row so this item view is going to help us to find this text view this text view and also this image view so we are done with our view holder class so leave it as it is now this get item count is going to return what is the length of our data set so let us do one thing our data set dot set sorry size pretty simple now let us move to our on create view holder now inside our on create view holder we have to return we have to return our custom adapter dot my view holder class so let us do one thing guys let us change this to my custom adapter dot my view holder fine and here also we are going to return what our my view holder object now before that in order to inflate the items inside inside the recycler view we need to define our layout inflator so let us do one thing guys layout inflator let us complete the initialization inside our constructor itself let's say inflator equal to layout inflator from context fine so this will return so this will initialize our layout inflator now here we have to return what we have to return the object of my view holder class so let us write holder and before that let us create the holder let's say my view holder space holder equal to new and we need to pass what a view now this view will contain contain the view of each row so let's do one thing guys let us create the view inflator dot inflate now this will contain the layout of each row so r dot layout dot list item row now our next parameter will be this view group so let's make it parent and last parameter as false 
pretty simple now this list item row is actually the layout that we have defined inside our layout directory this list item row so this view will contain what the appearance of each layout and we are passing this each appearance to what my view holder class and here is our view holder class so it is receiving this view as item view and with the help of each appearance we are able to find what text view and image view so hope the things till now are pretty simple guys we only have to work on our i on bind view holder method so let us do that also now inside the on bind view holder class we are going to inflate the data in our widgets so let us do one thing guys let us write holder sorry this my view holder class yeah my view holder dot title dot text view dot set text data set dot get the object at what at this position dot title now similarly let us set the image for our image view so my view holder dot image view dot set image resource so data set dot get position dot image id clear now guys this on bind view holder class is always called for each of the rows so for each of the row we are setting what we are setting the data of the text view and the image view so at this point of time let us run our application and let's see what's the output so here we go our application is running totally blank so let's see what's the error hey here we go it says no adapter attached I just did a blender guys inside the main activity dot java I forgot to link the recycler view dot set adapter adapter so guys finally what we did we just created the recycler view inside the java inside the java as well as we have created the layout inside the activity main dot xml right here now each element of the recycler view we have created inside the list item dot row so so list item dot row is the layout of each row inside the recycler view pretty simple now here we created my custom adapter parse the context and also pass the data that we want to inflate and finally set the adapter that is link the recycler view and the adapter and after that give recycler view an appearance now here is the appearance fine now inside the my custom adapter dot java what I am having I am having the constructor where I am initializing the context data and layout inflator now proceeding downside we are having the on create view holder now this on create view holder is containing the view of each layout fine and we are passing this layout to this my view holder constructor fine now here inside the my view holder constructor I am doing what I am simply initializing the text view and the image view which will contain our data and proceeding at the middle at the middle section of the Java file we are having on bind view holder method each time the row is created this on bind view holder is called and each time this method is called we are setting the data to our text view and also to our image view and this method get item count we are simply returning the data size fine so at this point of time let us run our application again and hopefully everything will work fine so here we go our application is running we are having list of images and each list of images is having what cat5 cat6 the label clear this is our what linear layout manager now guys you can give the staggered appearance also grid appearance also and if this layout is not looking good you can simply go where list item row and change the layout you can give the padding and one more thing here guys I just forgot to tell you this card view Android support v7 widget dot card view is actually this layout this layout and again this layout fine it is having the corner round of 5 dp as you can see this card corner radius is 5 dp which is visible here these are the corners of the cards and inside the card we are having this image view 
and this text view. So hope the things are clear guys. In the next video we will try various kinds of layout managers such as staggered view and grid view. So thanks for watching guys. Please subscribe to this channel if you like and catch you guys in the next video.